It's the largest job fair in 15 years and with over 500 employment opportunities available in different fields of work. Island residents headed over to the Riga Royal Laguna where the governor's island-wide job fair took place. The event was spearheaded by the Guam Department of Labor and agency director Dave Delasola gave a rundown on how it went. Close to 2,000 people uh, have come in and out of here and uh, I couldn't be happier. I did two circle arounds and talked to a lot of the employers and uh, some people have hired more than 20 people on the spot. Some have, uh, have interviews all lined up. Some are sending them to drug testing. Everybody I talked to is so happy with the turnout. De La Sola said some companies ran out of applications, so they had to make more or go to their office to get more. He added that he got to speak with some of the job seekers and this is what they said. Some of them that were so happy because they got hired already. We've had at least 20 to 40 people that come up and said, I got hired, I got a job, and we're ready to go. I mean, we had one applicant that uh, Janela talked to that says, hey, I got a full-time job. I'm looking forward to bringing my family back from the States. We're ready to, to, you know, to move forward. And they were so happy and elated. And, you know, that was what it's, this whole thing's about. Along with thousands of island residents looking for a job, one job seeker recently arrived on Guam and he's looking to snag employment while here. Executive chef Kyle Russ. I've already had somebody uh, say they're going to call me next week for an interview. Uh, it's actually been a really good experience because my resume is mostly off island. So I think people think I'm still off island. So being able to come in person and actually speak with people goes a long way for like getting my foot in the door and being able to talk to people and show my personality. 70 different businesses took part in the job fair, including companies such as Pay Less Supermarkets, Black Construction Corporation, Bank of Guam, the Guam Army National Guard, and many, many more. Reporting for KUAM News, I'm Noah Maravia.